friends, this is Hal. Today I'm going to teach you Turn, Turn, Turn by the Birds. I was uh, working on this song yesterday and I'm going to be playing a gig in about a, a week and uh, I realized this is just a really great song and I'm just on fire with it. So let's just, uh, let's just teach it to you. First I'm going to play it through and then I'll, I'll uh, focus in on some details. So here it goes. Some of the voicing that you're hearing. Right? I want to be able to bring that out a little bit better. What it is, I'm playing a D9 chord right here. And here's the melody. And I want to hear this. That's what I want to hear. So I'm going playing D9, just these three notes, the D, the G string, and the and the B string, that's your melody note on the B string. And then you hit the E string open, and then you hit the G chord. And I'm calling it a G13 because the the E on top is actually the 13 of the chord. So it's like So I'm trying to bring out that right melody. with an F sharp bass, E minor 7, and then B minor, bringing out that F sharp right there, the second fret on the E string, and then an A chord, and so the melody goes bum, bum, like that. Second fret, open on the E string. Then we're back, and we loop it around again, do it again. Actually, I don't think I play the D there. I think I'm supposed to stop on the A. To everything. And I'm doing a B minor A as I'm playing, as I'm singing. To everything. Right? So let's go over the chords really quick. A D9 sounds like that. You've got the D string open, second fret on the G string just like a D chord, third fret on the B string, but on the E string, second fret, we let that go, and we play that open E, that's the 9. So that's our D9 chord. The G13, I'm playing like this. Um, I've got my second finger on the third fret E string. I've got my third finger on the third fret B string. Open E string. Okay, I'm calling that a G13. Uh, it's probably essentially it's probably a, a G5 with a 13. D with an F sharp bass. Right there, there's my F sharp right there. Second fret, E string. It's like a D chord, like this. But I'm only playing five strings. Second fret, E string, open A, open D. Second fret, G string. 3rd fret, B string, and then an E minor 7, I think I'm going all the way to the E string, and the E minor 7, you'll look on the uh, open position chord chart, it looks like this, just our first finger is on the 2nd fret A string, well I'm adding another 7, I mean the 7th of the chord, which is the 3rd fret B string, that's the D note, okay? because I'm holding it from D with an F-sharp bass, holding that note, and then I'm playing B minor bar chord, looks like an A minor chord, up two frets with the bar. The bar, the first finger is taking the A string second fret, E string second fret, okay? And then we go to A, A chord, I'm doing it with one finger, it's really quick and easy this way. Let's see, the B minor to A, and I'm singing the pickup. To everything, turn, G chord, turn. I'm doing the D with an F sharp bass like this, or you can do a D9 with an F sharp bass. 
tongue tied. Now I'm doing A sus4 is right there, the A chord with third fret B string. And it's a suspended chord. That's what the sus is. So we've got, um, I like the D9 with an F sharp bass because I've got my ring finger, my third finger on that D note right there. And then A sus4. Don't play your E string. There is a season and a time to every. So we go back to G. Time uh, to every. F sharp minor. It's a bar chord. Second fret. It's like an E minor chord. Up two frets. To every purpose. E minor A. Under heaven. D chord, now we do D sus4, D9, D, so it goes just like that. So what we do is we go D, D sus4, D9, D. And you'll notice that I play the D sus4 and the D9 on an upstroke, and the first D, the, well, the last time I play the D. That with all with upstroke, so it's down on the D. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's see. Um, and the time to every purpose under heaven. Up, 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 down. Two, three. Yeah, and so after I do. A chord, a time to reap. D chord, we're going A, D, A, D, A, D in this verse. A time to kill, A, a time to heal. So we do that three times. A time to love. Now we play the G for two beats. One, two, F sharp minor for two beats. One, two, a time. Two beats on the E minor, A, two beats. One, two, we. Then we do the says for D9 D to everything there is a season so let me explain how many beats we have on these chords one two one two one two one two three On F sharp minor, two on E minor, two on A, D, B sus4, D9, D. Right? That's your chorus. So let me play that again for you. To everything, there is a season. One more time, let's talk about that D. Down, down, up, 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 down. When we do that D, D sus4, D9, back to D. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just like that. Okay, so, um, you know, you keep your hand moving like this. One, two, three, four. Mistake there, trying to do too much at once. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You notice how my hand goes down on the beat. So when I say one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, like that. Okay? I'm keeping the beat with my hand. You know, some people tell me, um, you know, I don't, I don't like a metronome. You've got to know where the beat is all the time. You have to. Otherwise, you're going to be kind of a mediocre guitar player. So you need to figure out where that is and where you are in relation to the beat all the time. You have to know where beat one is because there's always a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. I think on this 
particular verse to everything. There's actually like two extra beats. Okay, so let's see. We do the same thing for the next chorus. We do the, a time for love, a time of love. Time of hate. That's another verse. Same thing. Now, when I go to the lead, I've got I play a chorus, the chords for the chorus. It's like you know. Somebody might want to play that lead on a harmonica, or on a guitar, or on an organ, or on a piano, or something, a violin, or whatever. Or you might even want to sing it. Do, 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 do. Right? So you play the chorus, and then you play the verse. Do, do, do. After that lead, we go back into a chorus to everything. And then comes the last verse. This is the crux of the whole thing. Uh, let's see, it goes into a time to gain, a time to lose, a time to rend, a time to sow, a time for love, a time for hate, a time for peace, I swear. that last line. Okay, peace is really important. And we don't get peace because governments uh, demand peace or impose peace. We get peace when people stop fighting each other. We don't get true peace when we enforce it, but when we do, we do it from here, inside our heart, out. And then, just my little bit of philosophy there. Okay, so intro at the end, B minor, D, A, excuse me, B9, G11, D with an F sharp bass, E minor 7. I like to do it three times. And on a D chord, I did this on my recording. Now that's like, a, it's like an F chord up on the 10th, 11th, 12th fret, but you leave off this finger. You're playing these two notes with your index finger, your first finger. You're on the 11th fret, you're on the G string with your second finger here, right? And you've got your D note open, like that. Makes a nice, there's a D note right there. So we got the D. You could just play that D or you could go, right, if you want to. Or you could just play the D. And that's it. I like to end with the D on top, the highest note. It sounds really good that way. Okay, there you go. There's the the uh, turn, turn, turn. Thanks for coming by. This is Hal Stead for Quail Studios, quailstudios.com, quail-studios.com, and see us over at Patreon for special videos and different kinds of perks and stuff. See you later. Bye.